all the human tribes, as you can see, are called the Colorado River Tribes today, and we all kind of hug the river. There's a large group of us that are belong to the human family, all the way from Supai down to Baja, California. Our people had to move because of the conditions changing. Nature has a way of changing things, so they had to move. Matmuyao means, do you know the land? Matmuyao, say, do you know the land? Wei means given. Say, Wei Kamasu, to say Kamasu is like a past, it has been given. The land you know has been given. That's what it's saying to you. I mean, these are prof profound statements, you know. An ancient statement, ancient words, ancient song. This is an ancient song I'm talking about. It goes way, way back. So that's what motivated us to stay here, to take care of the land and to love the land. Going back to your ancestry, you got to recapture that. I don't think people understand that. And the songs that are sung too are using that same words. The white man doesn't understand that when we say we're singing something very important, sacred. You know? So that's what that's what we're taking over there, to Akatio. Uh, Akatio is uh, vital to where we once were. Uh, we live there as a people, uh, not a, not just us as Quetzans, but Kumiai and uh, all existing uh, native people around the area. Uh, Pattern was trying to bring in this wind project. You know, we were telling them that there's cremation sites here. You know, so it was very important to us, it was very vital, yet we constantly keep showing them. We show them the pottery shards, you know, we show them the, the cremation grounds, you know, and uh, forensic dogs have been out there and, you know, they've went to those sites, you know, yet they've continued to brush them off. They know very well they can't build over existing cemeteries in cities and counties. And why should it be any different here? They're also killing a lot of endangered species like the eagle, the condor, and the mountain sheep that has been displaced, as well as other animals that live out here. These turbines here may produce electric power, but it's not going to benefit anybody here. It's going directly into San Diego, Los Angeles, etc. So uh, we don't get nothing out of it. Nobody does here. So this doesn't make sense to me. Whoever did the feasibility study made a mistake on the, the how strong the wind comes through here. I can verify that easily by just looking around, look at if any of these blades are turning or they're not. They haven't been. There are some uh, existing federal statutes, uh, regulations that are supposed to protect these grave sites, but that's been totally ignored by the Bureau of Land Management as well as other people that are responsible to make sure that uh, those regulations are followed. I believe they could question their own representatives, um, starting from their local people that, like the Board of Supervisors, all the way up to state legislatures, people in Congress, and uh, question them. Why are you doing this? These uh, memorials, these ceremonies that we keep having out there is to pay our respects to what's going on out there. And this is where we once were. And unfortunately now, there's an eyesore there, you know? But, th but at the same time, it's also a new part of our history, another ugly piece of our history. Because not only are we trying to show them the past, but now we have to show them the present. Like I was telling these young men the other day, I said, you know, from now on, you will be known as Kuruk singers. Do what is good and what is right. That's a Kuruk singer, I said. They make a sound iron with their motion, what they want to say and what they feel. It comes from the motion of a long, long time ago. You know, they made up that word in their emotional state of mind so that they can express something. I think if, if they can learn that, they can make them whole again. They can be a lot better off. See, our action out there hopefully will bring results. Our singing out there, our being out there, to endure the cold, the wind, to endure the hardship, that's the action, being a part of that desert. Another thing too is I don't believe in praying. Action is the prayer. Action is the prayer. Whenever you do an action, that's the prayer. You can pray all you want and nothing's going to happen until you take action.
Peace, Lord, and